Given two arrays, how would you write a function to compute their intersections? That's about today's video. Let's dive into it. Hi everyone, this is Steve here. Today we're going through leave code problem 349, intersection of two arrays. A very classic problem is being asked over and over again. So let's take a look. Uh, given two arrays, it's asking us to write a function to, to compute their intersection. Example is 1, 2, 2, 1. First, let's understand this problem. It's e very easy to get confused. 1, 2, 2, 1. The second array is 2, 2. The output is, is 2. Why it's 2? Because it's 2 appears both in array 1 and array 2. That's why it's returning 2, regardless of its occurrences. It's, it's actually a follow-up. We'll, we'll take care of that in the following, in another video. Second example is arrays 4, 9, 5. And second array is this. So the duplicate numbers or the intersect numbers are 4 and 9. 5 doesn't appear in the second array and 8 doesn't appear in the first array. So none of those elements get returned. So I mean, take a look at here. There, there are two nodes. Each element in the result must be unique regardless. That's why I said regardless the occurrences of every single element that appears in either arrays. The result can be in any order. That's the second node. So, um, pretty straightforward what we can do. There are actually three solutions. Um, so we can go through every single one of them. Let's take, um, let's I think about the first solution, which is very straightforward and comes into hand, which is um, it's talking about no duplicates. So we'll filter out all of the du duplicates for every single array, for every one of these two arrays. So we'll construct a one hash set for each array and then just uh, go through every single hash set, every single element within this hash set. Or actually in hash set, there is a nice uh, API just called retains all, which does the intersection internally that's implemented already. So we'll go through that as our first solution. Let's put that into code. Two hash set, one is this, we'll call it set one, hash set, put everything into, of course you can use um, new Java stream APIs, which is going to be a lot easier and simpler, but we'll do it in the more verbose way so that you can see the logic more clearly. Add everything go, add every single admin into this hash set. We'll do the same for the second array because it's going to be a second hash set nums2, nums2. And then what we'll do is that we'll use the retain all method. Let's take a look at retain all in Java. Retain all in Java hash set. Let's take a look at its definition. Mm, Java docs, where is Java docs? Okay retain all all right here it is retain all this is the so this is the definition of retain on that's implemented in java retains let's take a look retains all the only the elements in the collection that are contained in the specified collection optional operation in other words removes from this collection all of these elements that are not contained in the specified collection so this API is implemented in the set interface and it, the parameter that it takes in is another collection. So it does the intersection. That's what this API is doing. So after that, we can form the result. You int set uh, one size. That's going to be the size. We're just assigning everything. I equals one int num in set one. So now this set one, the elements in set one have been filtered through to um, contain only the duplicates, only the intersection with set two. That's what the set one is containing right now. Okay, we'll go through that. So I plus plus assign num to this and then return the result. That's it. That's the first solution. So let's hit submit and see. All right, let's accept it. The time complexity for this 
is time complexity is O M times N. So suppose the length of the first array is N and the length for the second array is M. Time complexity is going to be O N plus M because we have two for loops, but it's not nested. So two for loops over here. That this is the average case because we have a return on we're calling this API in the in the in the um, language um, implementation, but an um, average on average on average. But the worst case could be O n times n, considering all of the elements are different, right? It's going to be O n times n. That's the worst case. That's the time complexity. Space complexity is going to be O n times n. So we need two extra hash set to hold all of the distinct all of the distinct elements in two arrays. So the space complexity is going to be O n times n. That's the idea for the first solution. We can have a very slight modification of this solution to slightly um, improve this, optimize this, is that we can use only one hash set. And the other one, we can we'll still use two hash sets, but the other one is not going to contain all of the elements, distinct elements from the second array. We'll just uh, filter out from this, from the first array. So what we'll do is that we'll call this one intersect intersect and then go through the second one so here we'll check if set one contains this num if that is the case only if that is the case we'll add this into num so what we're doing here so we build the first hash set is holding all of the distinct elements from the first array but the second hash set, we are just going through, we are trying to find all of the intersection, all of the intersection elements. So only when set one contains this number, we are going to add it into int intersection. So we don't need this retain all API call anymore. So now what we'll have is intersect, then go through this intersect. That's it. So we'll loop through all of the remaining elements that get to be added into intersect hash set, the second hash set, we'll just add that into result. This is going this is going to work as well. Let's hit submit and see. All right, it's also accepted. Now let's talk about the second solution, which is first we can sort the array and then we can use binary search to go through the array to find any possible intersected elements in either of the two arrays. So let's do that. First, we can sort this array, arrays sort. We sort arrays one, and then what we'll do is we'll create a set intersect. Oops, intersect, that's correct. New hash set. And then we can go through the other array, which is int num. We sorted nums on one, we'll go through nums two. Try to find if find. Find we're going to implement, which is going to use binary search. Find num in nums nums one. If it can, can be found in in the first sorted array, then we'll just add it. Add this num into this intersect. And then we'll initialize a result new int intersect size then for int i starting from zero for int num in intersect. We'll just add it in num then return result. Now let's quickly implement the binary search for this uh, find solution, find a method, which is int target int nums. Okay, let's do binary search, which is left starting from zero, right start from nums length minus one. Then we'll have a while loop, while left, smaller than or equal to right. What we'll do is We'll check, uh, we'll have a int, 
mid pointer, which is this is basically very template code, how binary search should be implemented. Right minus left divide by right two. Check if nums mid equals to target. If that is case, boom, we are very happy. We just return true. We found this one. Else, if nums mid is greater than target, that means nums mid is greater than target. Then nums mid is greater than the target. That means we should shift. We should shift the right to here. Mid minus one. Assign uh, nums mid is greater than target. That means we need to shift the right towards the left. Oh, right. Else we need to change left. Else is nums mid is smaller. Nums mid is smaller than the target. So the possibly target is residing on the is re residing on the right side. So we're going to do mid plus one. That's it. Then. If we got broken out, we, we didn't break out when it returns true, we need to return false. That's it. All right, now let's hit submit and see. Pending. Takes a long time. All right, also accepted. That's it uh, for this algorithm. This is the second solution. We basically use um, array sort, we sort uh, either one of the two arrays first and then we can use binary search to go through this um, to go through to go through every single element in the other array to f find if possibly there's any intersected elements this is the second solution use sort and binary search then let's talk about the third solution which is to use two pointers we can sort the in second solution in this solution we used we sorted only one of the two arrays but we can actually sort two arrays. Then we can use two pointers. One pointer pointing at the first sorted array, the second pointer pointing at the second sorted array. Then we can move two pointers towards the right. Whenever we encounter the same element in both arrays, we can just add that into the intersected uh, in, into the intersected result. That's it. That's the idea. Let's put that into code as well. Let's see. Set integer uh, we actually don't need uh, we need intersect that's for sure Hash set let's initialize a container for that and then we'll sort both arrays nums one nums two then we'll have two pointers while both pointers are smaller than nums length and j smaller than nums2 length then what we'll do is that we can check nums i is equal to nums j if that is the case we're happy we're just an add intersect add nums i into this move this one to here into this uh, intersect the hash set and then if that is not the case, we'll check if nums i is smaller than nums j. In that case, since both arrays are sorted, what we'll do is that we'll increment i, but we keep j intact. So here we also need to increment i and increment j. Because uh, this is the same duplicate elements, this is the same intersected elements in both arrays. So we need to move both pointers towards the right. But say if if nums i is smaller than nums j, what we need to do is that we need to increment i, which mean mean which means to move the first pointer towards the right. Only in that case we can find possibly intersected elements between these two arrays, right? Because both arrays are sorted. The when we move the first point towards the right, we can possibly find bigger elements on the first in the first array that could match possibly elements, same equal elements in the second array. Else, we'll just uh, do j plus plus. That means the second, the the element in the first array is bigger than the element in the second element. So in that case, what we'll do is we'll increment j. That's what we need to do. And then in the end, after going through all of this, what we'll do is we'll the same um, very simple code, which is result. Just put everything into this intersect 
size for int num intersect Oops. we'll have another variable called k as an index result k plus plus none return result that's it this is the uh, um sorting algorithm and then we use the two pointer technique that's it for the third solution let's hit submit and see hmm Nums, oh, okay. This is completely wrong. So many typos. Okay. Nums, uh, nums one, nums two. Now we have, we add nums one and then nums two and nums one here. All right, that looks good to me. Hit submit again. All right, accept it. Pretty fast, faster than the last one. That's basically the three solutions. And a big shout out to this guy uh, on discuss board three java solutions he basically listed everything here and uh, all of the three solutions and time complexity here i'm just putting this in a video to help people better understand it big shout out to this uh, divine boy 89 that's it for this video and if you guys like this video please do me a favor and hit the like button that's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell notification. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video.